latest on those residents of Miami Civic Towers who had been living in the parking lot waiting for the moment that they could finally return to their homes. A lawsuit is now pending and our local 10 news reporter Glenna Milberg is joining us live now to fill us in. Glenna, what's the latest? Calvin Janine from the parking lot to actually the street now and to a de facto tent city across the way. There have been about 50 people placed, 30 still living on the streets. Important to know that all of these people have their rent subsidized by public money. They live in Civic Towers. Civic Towers landlords get government money for renovation and for their rent. They had been taking people and placing them in hotels before the storm because of the renovation. Hurricane Irma has changed the calculations of all of that. Volunteers bring food and water. At least two dozen people, though, are sleeping on the street for a fifth night. FEMA is going to give a, us an um, apartment. Our apartment FEMA has been here to offer post-hurricane emergency assistance, but the displaced residents of Civic Towers are still caught in a storm of finger pointing. <laughs> The new out-of-state landlords receiving public loans to renovate these buildings and government subsidies for low-income tenants' rent. They had been relocating people as they did the construction before the storm. Each month they will tell us, get ready, you're leaving. Now the whole building is closed because of the damage these pictures from a city-ordered inspection show. Exterior damage, obvious. Moisture damage inside and indications that some of that damage may have existed even before the storm and just got worse. The people that they already took out the, the, the building, they're, they're in hotels. They've been in hotels for more than eight months already. So for the construction, they were telling you to get ready to go to a hotel. Go ready, yes, all the and time. And then came the hurricane. And then came the hurricane. Post storm, the owners are not getting government red checks, will not pay for relocation. FEMA has stepped in, but emergency money has a shelf life of several weeks. Marcos Maceo and two dozen others will be sleeping in tents tonight. Yes. I am waiting. Within the last hour, the owner's rep made this point to us. Interim housing, he says, due to damage caused by Hurricane Irma, is government responsibility. Redwood, that's the owner, has secured 80 hotel rooms to help provide interim housing while the FEMA process continues. 